Red, blue, or purple, we're breaking down how the political spectrum has shifted since World War II. Obama is now sometimes called a socialist by the right wing. But what would they have called Eisenhower? Even though Harry Truman is now often cited as an example of a conservative Democrat, he was far more liberal than Democrats today in many ways. He was the first president to argue for single-payer health care. President Obama wouldn't come within miles of single payer. In fact, he didn't even push for the public option, which is much, much weaker. Then there's President Eisenhower, the force behind the greatest expansion of Social Security ever, adding 10 million more Americans at the time. And that wasn't his only liberal warning. Here's Eisenhower on the role of government and money in expanding the military. Only an alert and knowledgeable citizen can compel the proper meshing of the huge industrial and military machinery of defense with our peaceful methods and goals so that security and liberty may prosper together. If Obama gave that speech today on the military industrial complex, he would be run out of town as a pinko commie. And that was Eisenhower. Liberals uh, led by then Attorney General Robert Kennedy and Vice President Lyndon Johnson uh, also gave us the historic uh, Civil Rights Act of 1964. It mandated equal vetter, uh, voter registration requirements and ended racial segregation in school, work, and anywhere that served the general public. We're still solidly left, left of center at this point. Let me go to my telestrator for the first time uh, and wish me luck here as I uh, do a John Madden. Uh, let's look at our political spectrum and let me tell you roughly where we are in that spectrum uh, through Johnson and Kennedy. So here it is and I would, I would put us at about here. So yeah, we're left of center, uh, we're not way left of center, but we're hanging in there. Now as we continue, even Republican Richard Nixon created public agencies like the EPA and OSHA. So he's not moving that much in that respect. Of course he was very conservative in other respects. But it was with Ronald Reagan that this nation really began our movement to the right. The so-called Reagan revolution started tax cuts for the wealthy and it raised military spending. But even Reagan seems progressive by today's standards since he later raised taxes, withdrew from Lebanon and gave illegal immigrants amnesty. And his overall policies helped give rise to the so-called conservative Democrat, Bill Clinton, who moved further to the right on major public initiatives. Let's pause again to look at our political spectrum. Responsibility starts at the top. That's what the New Covenant is all about. An America where we end welfare as we know it. All right, so when you look at the political spectrum, you know, we had the country roughly about here, Reagan certainly takes us into the red territory. And then Clinton, well, you could argue he's here, or you could argue he's here. <laughs> because uh, as we know from that clip that you just saw, welfare reform uh, was ended as we know it. Republicans helped craft and endorse the bill. Uh, the result, welfare was no longer an entitlement program. It became welfare to work. The result, a huge decline in welfare benefits, down 46% from its high in the mid-70s. And the spectrum shifted even more to the right after George W. Bush took the oath of office. Uh, following 9-11, we saw those infamous warrantless wiretaps, the denial of habeas corpus, and the use of torture on suspected terrorists, two wars including the senseless invasion of Iraq, more massive tax cuts benefiting the wealthy. So at that point, let's look at our political spectrum one more time here. And we've moved way to the right here. Here, in fact, I'll show you the movement here. <laughs> and we wind up at about here. <laughs> so now here comes Barack Obama though. He was heralded by the left, uh, except the fact is he has a mixed record. You've got a deficit commission stacked with fiscal conservatives. He escalated the war in Afghanistan with a 30,000 troop surge, gave drug companies sweetheart deals on healthcare reform, and refused to break up the big banks that destroyed our economy. And in classic Obama fashion, he supports gay rights, but not gay marriage. So at the end of the political spectrum, Let's be kind to Obama and say he moved it a little to the left. So now it's going a little bit backwards. So we can have the green lines going a tiny bit this way. But look at where we are. <laughs> We're way at the right hand end of the spectrum. So look, with almost no one pushing us back towards the center in the last 30 years, the political spectrum has moved significantly to the right to the point where former Republican presidents would seem unelectably liberal now.